In this video, we'll write the Lewis structure for urea, and this is a very important biological compound. It's also used industrial to make fertilizer and as a precursor to many other chemicals. So there's two ways we can write this. Both of these are the same in terms of the number and type of each atom. So they have one carbon, four hydrogens, two nitrogens, and one oxygen. So they're equivalent like that. This one just gives us a little bit more information about the structure. So let's count the valence electrons up and then write a Lewis structure. Carbon is in group 14, four valence electrons. Hydrogen group one, we have four hydrogens. Plus nitrogen five, we have two of those. Plus oxygen group 16 has six valence electrons. Add them all up, we get 24 valence electrons. We could do that with this formula here as well and we'd get 24 valence electrons because they're equivalent like that. So as I said, this has a lot more information for us. I can see I have a carbon, and I'll put the carbon in the center. It's the least electronegative. And then there's an oxygen and these two amide groups, NH2. So I'm going to put the NH2 groups off the side. And my experience tells me that the oxygen, that's probably going to go on the carbon there. So this is the structure we have based on this formula here. Let's put electrons between atoms to form chemical bonds. We've used 10 valence electrons, so we have 14 more. Let's complete the octets on the atoms here on the outside. And I forgot to put electrons down here, so we'll throw those down there. And when we do that, we've used 24 valence electrons. The oxygen, it has an octet. All of the hydrogens, they have two valence electrons. The nitrogens have octets, but the central carbon only has six valence electrons and we only have 24. So we have to figure out where to get two other electrons are to complete the octet on the carbon. That's actually not too bad. We can take and move these two here to form a double bond. The oxygen, it still has eight valence electrons, but now the carbon, it also has eight valence electrons. We could also write this using lines instead of pairs of electrons to show the structure. If we wanted to make sure that this was the best arrangement for these atoms, we could check the formal charges and we'd find the formal charges for all of these elements here. Those would be zero. So this is the Lewis structure for urea. If I was given this formula, I think it would be a little challenging to come up with this Lewis structure. But when you're given this with these amides here showing off as their own group and the parentheses, it's a quite a bit easier. This is Dr. B with the Lewis structure for urea. Thanks for watching.